Today, I've probably got the most important information you need to have for this bear market. Hi, it's Karim Raham Sola for Trade Talk Tuesday. And we are in a bear market. You know, the indices are, oh, you know, if it goes down 20% or if it goes down 30%, we're in a bear market. Well, guess what? Half these stocks are down like 60 or 70%. If that's not a bear market, I don't know what is. So you need to be in a protective mode, but you can't be in a mode where you don't want to invest because usually when markets tank like they do now, this is the best opportunity to get into the market too. So you have to have a strategy. How do I get into the market without losing my... It's really important to understand that position sizing is one of the most important concepts in investing, whether it's a good market, a bad market, whatever type of market, because that determines how much you're willing to risk of your own money and then how much of that money you're willing to say, I'll lose, okay, before I might win. Hopefully you won't, but that's usually how it happens. So let me give you an example of a position size. So let's say you wanted to buy a thousand shares of Intel. Okay, Intel is like a pretty doggy stock right now, but we'll use that as an example. Well, a thousand shares of Intel will set you back $44,000 or $42,000 today. That's a lot of money. So you're really at risk, $42,000. So the market opens down, you know, 500 points tomorrow, Intel might open down 10% of it, opens down 1,000, 200, 300, 400 points the next day, you're still gonna go down. So how, how do you determine how much you're willing to lose before you cut Intel loose? And this is a really important strategy because it applies to your entire portfolio. First thing you do is say, well, if I'm gonna invest $40,000 in Intel, how big is my portfolio? Well, you know, if your portfolio is $100,000 and you put in $40,000 in one stock, that means you put 40% of your capital into one stock. That's like the worst position sizing in the world. And I believe we can do better. But that's what people do. They get really excited. They love the story. Oh, yeah, rah, rah, rah. Intel's building all these plants around the country. You're going to spend $70 billion. Yeah, but not until 2025. Why are you putting in 40% of your portfolio now? So if the market goes down, you're going to start losing a heavy chunk of your portfolio. So instead of that, what you have to do is say, I'm going to look at my entire portfolio. And if I've got $100,000, how much should I put into each stock? Well, my answer, okay, you might not like it. You might choose a different one is no more than 4%. That's all. Right? $4,000 in Intel, not $40,000. Do you see the difference? But you might be saying, well, why would I only put $4,000 in if I think Intel's going to the moon? It doesn't matter, okay? Because if you think something's going to the moon, chances are it's going to stop somewhere and hit a satellite first, okay? That's just the way the market is. You don't always go to the moon. Sometimes you do. But what you want to do is have a small amount in a bunch of different stocks so that if one takes off, that's great. But if one gets killed, it doesn't kill your entire portfolio. Because if Intel got killed and you had 40% in it, you'd be wiped out. So on top of the 4% that you put at risk, you have to adopt a stop loss. So what's a stop loss? A stop loss is how much am I willing to lose before I cut loose this position? A good amount to put into place is about 25%. You might want to go as high as 35% in a, in a bear market or a, a down market. What that means is that if Intel goes down 25%, you would sell it. Okay, think about this. If you had $40,000 in Intel and you had a 25% stop loss, you'd lose 10 grand, okay? 10 grand is 10% of your portfolio. If you had $4,000 in Intel and lost 25%, you'd lose $1,000. That's 1% of your portfolio. You still have 99% left. So that's the theory behind position sizing is don't go crazy with one stock. Go crazy, but with a bunch of stocks with a smaller amount gives you a much better chances of winning overall and also reduces your risk if you use a stop loss. So at the end of the day, what you want to establish in your own portfolio is how can I make a lot of money, but how can I also protect myself from losing a lot of money? Because that's just as important. For Trade Talk Tuesday, I'm Karim Rahamsilla. We'll see you next time. If you want to find out about our newsletter, which puts out picks every single Wednesday, click on that link below and you'll get the information right away.